Japan Game Stores Lookout Gaijin. And there we have her. So this is Pop Up Parade. So this costs around twenty eight to twenty nine dollars US dollars. So depending on the exchange rate, but that's around how much I got it for. So this is Judy, uh, Street Fighter. She originally came from Street Fighter Four, and this is her Street Fighter Six look. So I do prepare her classic street fighter 4 look but seeing as how expensive bishojo figures are i just had to wait for pop up parade to come up with this and still it looks awesome she looks exactly as how her artwork would look like in street fighter 6 so check out all the details here really fine sculpt on her abs and everywhere else so i'm trying to find any noticeable uh miscall or problems with my my figure so currently can't seem to find can i cannot seem to find any problems right now so that's her portrait so one of the reasons why I prepare her uh, Street Fighter 4 look is because she, of course she's younger there. And her face really looks older now. I love that her uh, her other, her left eye is, the left eye color is uh, somewhat peeking through her bangs, through her highlights. Really nice touch. So another thing that I love about this figure is there is no assembly required besides the here besides its base which is they have been consistently giving us this uh, black clear base which I don't really like and um, Papa Parade has been consistent uh, has gone away with the hexagonal bases and went for the more basic looking round clear black bases and anyway here's some more of the zipper on that this is a really fine sculpted figure awesome coloring on this one i really can't find anything to complain about seriously there's nothing to complain about the figure pop-up parade has been consistent with their releases and um by the way i'm not getting the chun -Li, the street fighter 6 chun -Li guys because i don't really like how chun -Li looks on there but maybe if i find it for a bargain or something so okay guys so uh i found some seam lines so here's one on the waistband and also there are some uh painting problems right there by her best so 
so very uh some minor details that uh ha that prevents it from getting a five out of five so overall with what we have but still the sculpt is awesome portrait looks menacing enough the paint almost perfect so uh having said all that uh we're going for 4.25 out of 5 for this one if not for its minor hiccups on the um uh, on the seam line and some paint issues this would have definitely gotten a 5 out of 5 anyway that's it for me guys and this geek is out of here